Hey guys, so today we're looking at the Majin Vegeta Tech One as a leader. Uh, we're going to be doing the Resurrected Warriors stage of Super Battle Road, and this team's a little bit wonky that I have set up here. Um, I, I'm specifically not bringing like those super powerhouse uh, units like uh, LR Cell or LR Bojack because I don't want them to just steal the showcase here. Um, I'm going to try and find a Rainbow Friend as well. Um, what I tried to do here is I tried to include as many Super Saiyan 2 category units on here that also, uh, you know, fell into the, the Resurrected Warriors category because this Majin Vegeta's leader skill, he gives 170 across the board to Super Saiyan 2, then 150 across the board to Resurrected Warriors, so obviously Super Saiyan 2 units are going to be a lot more powerful on here. And I actually debated not doing this video until tomorrow because uh, this Majin Vegeta on my team, as well as this... Um, the, the, strength, the strength mod we did as well as this Goku over here. They're about to get their easy A's in like a few hours from me recording this video, so they will not be easy A's for this video. Uh, I'm going to do separate videos covering them um, in, within the next few days or so, as well as the strength um, the strength support units awakenings. I have them both rainbowed actually already, so don't even have to summon on the banner. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I, I didn't bring this LR Majin Vegeta, which I could have brought. Uh, I didn't bring uh, LR Tech Broly, I didn't bring LR Cell, LR Bro. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I could have brought, right? So, uh, with that said, I think we will take this team in and see how well it does. Alright, so this is what we're going with. Uh, I did find a Rainbow uh, Friend, so that's good. He's, I think it's, yeah, 17-9, which is not, not a bad split. I prefer to go additional with this guy, especially because he raises defense on Super Attack, as well as having um, effective against all types once he transforms. Hopefully we have a good rotation here. Uh, we do. We actually do. So, uh, we can start off with, uh, oh, that's, that's a lot of, uh, alright. So, I want to have one rotation with these two guys together, which is good. So, I'll actually just leave this guy right like this. And then this this one, I'll have linked up with Bardock, because they both share Saiyan Pride. Uh, the only problem is that they're not going to have Super Saiyan together, unless Bardock finds a way to transform, uh, which would take a few turns, but it's not going to be, like, impossible, right? Um, let's see. Do we need to use an item off the bat? I don't think so. What's interesting to note is that this guy, 10,100 defense, 11,007, okay. Um, that Goku is a higher defense. Interesting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and attack Videl with you. Get these. That's exactly what you actually... We'll get these, I think. Yeah, that's smarter because then we can get the reds. Uh, we'll just focus Videl here, I guess. Um, she will be the target. Uh, we probably, to be honest, we probably don't have to use an item here, if I'm being 100% real. Um, our defense is probably good enough. I the only, the only way we could be in trouble is if Gohan in the middle supered Vegeta. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and risk this. I don't think we... And then next turn, if we are low, we can use an Android 8 or something. So let's do that. Let's just focus on Videl here and see what we can do. Remember the Majin Vegeta is, uh, the friend one is rainbowed. Taking no, th basically nothing here. That's good. And let's do 2.18. Pretty good. Only one dupe, by the way. Alright. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> She's almost dead. She's 100% gonna die from... Uh, this Vegeta, if he gets a crit, yeah, he has 17 crit, so pretty high chance that he gets one. 2.9, yeah, really good. All right, so she's dead from the last Vegeta there. Yeah, really glad we didn't use an item. <laughs> that would have been a complete waste. So, I didn't think we needed to use. Even if we got super twice, I don't think we need, we would have died. Uh, okay, so she is down, and now we can just focus on you, and which is good because next turn we might be able to get the transformation. He's attacking a lot in the back. We just see this. I'm gonna put you first, just because he didn't super last turn. So because it, actually, that's, I'm not gonna be able to super with Bardock. Can I move you over? Um, if we do this, we can super. I'm just go like this. I think it's important that we super with Bardock just to get his defense up. The only thing is this might bring. Uh, this might bring the Gohan down below 80% health, which means we won't transform next turn. So that might be a little bit unfortunate. Uh, do we have to use an item? I think we do. Uh, if we get super at the end, we'll probably be dead. Um, so I'm going to use an Icarus. And then Majin Vegeta's defense isn't so high either, so... 
Again, this is pre-EZA Strength Majin Vegeta. 1.19, not the best, but it's, it's not bad. He is getting support from Metal Cooler, so... 1.75. I kind of want him to not crit, <laughs> or additional, just so that this guy can be above 80% health. Okay, cool. So I think we should actually should transform. I specifically did not get a Super Attack Metal Cooler, so that we could see both of the Goku and Vegeta transform here. I'm glad that I used that, uh, that Icarus. I don't think we would have died, to be honest, but here we go. We got the double transformation going on. This is um, not super common to see in Super Battle Road. Alright. So, now we win. <laughs> uh, the only problem is that... Oh, we also have the support from Bardock. Yeah, this is over. <laughs> um, so Vegeta, once he transforms... Let's just take a look at what he does. So, if you get um, three key spheres, he gets attack effective against all types, and then once he gets six key spheres, he gets the Janemba ability, which is basically guarding against uh, all attacks. Uh, so, the ability to do both of those things is one of the reasons why I actually like this Vegeta slightly more than the Goku. I don't think it's like a head and shoulders difference, but the Goku uh, obviously is very good. I just, I prefer Vegeta because of that. Um, more, I guess... It's more consistent because Goku gets dodges, and instead of taking no damage or a lot of damage, well, he wouldn't even take a lot of damage, but instead of taking no damage or like some damage, Vegeta's always just going to take no damage, basically. <laughs> That's how it's going to go. Um, and then Goku, once he's transformed, he needs three key spheres to get the extra 33% attack and defense, and then six key spheres to get um, attack effective against all types. Uh, oh, yeah, he also gets dodging once he gets three key spheres. So it's important that they both at least get the three key spheres, if not uh, the six, right? So. I'm going to put Goku there. I'm going to get him the three key spheres. I'm not going to be able to get the uh, his maximum passive. We're actually not going to get the maximum passive with either of them, I don't think, unless we got lucky with the orbs here. Uh, so we'll do that. And, uh, yeah, that's five. So we'll just get these, I guess. Um, that's good enough. He's going to be effective against all types. So both of them are going to be effective against this, uh, this Gohan here. So that's very good. And we'll get this. And I think he should honestly probably be dead this turn. We'll see. This is a one dupe Goku, 3.13. Pretty good. In Super Battle Road. <laughs> uh, no item active, by the way. I don't think there's one active. No, actually, no, I'm, I'm wrong. There's an Icarus active. Um, so. He got the stun, too, so. Forgot they. Yeah, they both stunned. Okay, so he's still alive, but that, that doesn't matter. He's, he's stunned. He got stunned twice. And let, let, let's see if Bardock can seal him. Okay, he didn't. That would be funny. Oh, he gets another super attack. He can still seal him. No, okay. Well, he's dead next turn, so... Uh, we're just going to finally... Oh, we can actually transform Bardock, too. Let's just do it. Okay, so now that Bardock is transformed, uh, we have basically all of this Vegeta's links active. The Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, and Fierce Battle are all of his main attack links. He also has like Saiyan Warrior Race. Does Bardock have that? He might have it. Um, no, he doesn't. So, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. It's like a flat boost of like a few hundred attack or something. But uh, we're going to view, get all these. Because remember, he's still stunned, so he's not going to be able to do anything. Um, and then we'll just collect these orbs, and that'll be it. We'll move on to the next fight here. He's at 2.6. Again, this guy's at one dupe. Free transformation. So, pretty good. Okay, moving on. Also, keep in mind that the pre-transformation for this Vegeta generally has a bigger attack stat than the post-transformation, just because of the extra attack he's getting from the orbs. Um, and the post-transformation one doesn't get that, but the post-transformation one gets effective against all types, so I think that is uh, you know, a much better trade-off. So, While it might appear that the uh, pre-transformation one is actually hitting harder, he's not hitting harder in practice. It just appears that way. So, uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, I want this guy to be able to tank in the middle. I think he's going to be a better tank here. Yes, he is. Um, so, Goku again only needs th the three orbs, so we'll attack. We'll, we'll focus down the uh, Goten here, so we'll do this. Um, do I use an item? I think I probably should use a Whis, just to be safe. Uh, we could die here if we don't use an item, so. 
Uh, and then we'll, again, we'll attack the Go-10 as well with Vegeta. I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. Next turn we have Bardock and the Vegeta rotation. So I'll get rid of these yellows. We don't really need these yellows here. Next turn these, we can get these blues with Bardock and then the green should fall for the Vegeta. That, that'll be perfect. So we'll do this. Uh, and then Cooler, I don't care if you super or not. So I'm going to move this blue down one just so we can set up the perfect turn for next turn. Uh, I don't think we're in any danger of dying here. 2.6, it's pretty good. So Metal Cooler is giving the attack boost, 30% uh, attack to both these guys. He's just not giving key or uh, defense. 3 million! <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Um, Goten's going to be in a lot of pain after this one. We got an additional damage. That was a super attack. He would have been close to death. Alright, so we should be good here defensively. This is going to do, like, 60k? Or it's going to do 126. <laughs> That's crazy. Their defense must be insane right now. Uh, okay, so Metal Cooler might take a little bit of damage. No, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, so here we have the turn set up. I believe... Is Bardock's passive active? I don't think so. Uh, we'll put Bardock in the front. He's going to have better defense after supering once. So, um, I'm actually going to focus down Goten even with the Bardock, even though he has type advantage over the Trunks, because I want to be able to transform next turn uh, with both of them if we can kill Goten here, which we should be able to do. So... I'm going to do this. Um, we'll attack Goten there. Uh, and I'm going to do something a little bit weird. Instead of getting all these greens, I'm going to actually do this and get these purples. Because what that's going to do is once we transform next turn, we'll be able to activate Majin Vegeta's guard against all attacks if we save these for him. Which is going to make it so that we don't have to use an item, probably. Um, so we'll focus down Goten here with Vegeta. We'll do that. And then I'm actually going to sacrifice a super attack with Bardock. I think that's the smarter thing to do. Because instead of getting a chance to seal this guy with Bardock, we can just guaranteed get the defense uh, with Vegeta next turn. And that'll be, you know, like a, like a pseudo seal because he's not going to be doing any damage to us anyway. So we'll do that. Uh, I think that is what we want to be doing here. So we can also get an additional. So there's always that. Um, okay, so let's see. Bardock's going to raise his defense. 1.75 is pretty good. Uh, again, we don't have a support on rotation right now because Bardock's passive is not active. No additional, that sucks. Um, we're still taking basically no damage. Again, the Whis is still active. 2.6, very good. Goten should be dead here. I hope he's dead. I mean... Bardock, please. Bardock, please kill him, please. Oh, he's critting. No, additional! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that sucks. <sighs> Uh, this would have been the perfect setup, too, because look at this. We would have been able to do this, would have been able to do this, get all these ores, and we'd be set. We wouldn't have to worry about anything. But now, Goten's, like, at one health. That sucks. Um, hmm. We're going to have to just kill Goten here. Uh, and then we will... <sighs> the only issue here is if... Actually, we're going to save those. The only issue here is if Vegeta at the end gets supered, we're going to die. Like, almost assuredly. Well, is he going to take 360k? Probably if not, because this is a lot of orbs, right? He gets defense on orb, let's just make sure. Uh, yes, he does. He gets 20% um, because there's a Sun family, or a Goku's family enemy here with in Goten, so I think we should be okay here. That's, that's a decent amount of orbs for a lot of defense, so... This is this is fine. It's gonna do nothing. <laughs> nothing. 175. I think we're still fine. That was so unfortunate. I re really you couldn't you just couldn't have killed the Goten. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> okay. And 2.28 from you. Majin Vegeta's at 1.8. That's pretty good. I mean, again, this is pre-EZA strength Majin Vegeta. Additional for 1.96. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to when this guy gets his EZA. In, like, two hours from now. <laughs> okay, so Bardock should be able to transform here. We'll definitely take advantage of this. Like this. Alright, let's see what his defense is at. 119 is pretty good. Uh, type advantage, so not really much to worry about on his end. Uh, if we get this, it should drop... Actually, let me think about this for a second. 
I think this is better. Let's do that. I'll we'll drop the greens, and then we can get the greens with Vegeta. Make sure that we get that extra boost from three orbs, and I'll get him a super attack. Um, the question is, we have to use an item. I think the only way we have a chance of even being close to death here is if he gets supered in the last slot with Metal Cooler. Would he do 231,000? He might. Uh, he has the super versus extreme boost. Metal Cooler is at 83,000. Ah, I think we're okay. I'm not going to use an item. Uh, we will... You... Oh, we'll get this. That's fine. Super Bardock, he won't. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> I mean, we could, we could easily kill him here, right? Bardock's at 2.6 and he has 20. I think I gave my Bardock 20 additional. Maybe I gave him 17. It was, it's 17 or 20. Something like that. Oh, yeah. He's, he's done. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, Bardock's insane. All right. Moving on to the final fight. So we will have uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock's passive active here. He's double tech too. That's that's right. I forgot about that. Um, hmm. I think we know what we're doing here. <laughs> Just put Goku in there. Um, should we focus on Goku? I think we're actually going to focus down PyCon because I want again. I want to see if we can get the transformations active here. So this should drop the purples, and we should be able to get three purples from Vegeta to get his uh, his passive. We'll do this. And we'll get these, perfect. And then Bardock should be able to super with those blues. Mm-hmm. Um, put these in item? I don't think we do. They're already at such high defense levels that... I mean, Goku's not going to take damage in that slot because they're both tech. And then uh, Vegeta should be okay. Again, this is a rainbowed Vegeta at 124,000 defense, getting 30... Is it 33 or 30? I think it's 30. Uh, and actually 30% defense after getting those orbs. So we should be okay here. I'm not going to really worry about it. How do I want to do this? If I do this, that green comes down. I think I'm actually going to do it this way. Yeah, there we go. That's that's, that's better. We got a dodge. 2.77. That's that's so good. Just one dupe. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to see. A super on uh, the Goku. That's actually a lot. That's more than I thought we would take. Uh, but we should be okay here. Vegeta at 3 million. Very good. Taking nothing. I mean, PyCon could super me here. I wouldn't really care. This should not kill me. Yeah, we're good. Uh, and then hopefully this seals. Uh, we're not going to use an Android 8 next turn. Did not seal. Ah, oh, if that was a super, that would have been... It would have been close to be killing that PyCon. So this turn, we're going to use an Android 8. And we're going to try and kill PyCon. It's going to be tough because we have Bardock who has type disadvantage. I'm going to actually put... Hmm. Let me see this. How do I want, how do I want to do this? Bardock is at 100... Again, we have the Android 8 active, but I think... After he supers one time, he should be okay. PyCon just supered. Is he going to super again so fast? Probably not. Uh, I think I'm more comfortable putting... Yeah, I think I think this is how I want to set it up. Uh, we're going to have Bardock do this against PyCon. We're going to have to give Vegeta all those yellows. Yeah. Well, that should, that should drop... Actually, that's perfect, because that, that will drop the red um, for Vegeta. I think that I think that should kind of the, drop the red right in, right in the slot here. Oh, it didn't. That sucks. If PyCon supers Majin Vegeta, we're probably going to be in trouble. <sighs> we did use an Android 8. I don't... I don't think it's enough. I think I have to use this. I just... I have a bad feeling. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get these reds. Okay, Bardock gets the super. Raises his defense. Let's see if I needed to use that, that Icarus. I'm not sure if I did or not. I probably did. <laughs> yeah, that's doing... Well, maybe. If PyCon now supers Vegeta at the end, I definitely did.
Okay, uh, maybe not. I don't think I needed to use it. That's fine. Uh, Goku can go here. We're gonna get a Dokkan attack, I think. Um, three orbs here. No, we need to get this. It's a super attack. We'll actually do this, because we're gonna get, get a Dokkan attack anyway, so we'll, f we'll target you. Um, I mean, Pygon is dead, for sure, 100%. I don't think we need to use an item. We're definitely good here. Uh, oh, we, we still have the Icarus active, so yeah, 100% we're good. And the Android 8, too. Yeah, this might... Uh, to be honest, this might kill both of them. <laughs> we might be done this turn. Alright, Goku is at... 2.6. Really good. And he's doing... Okay, they're not dead. <laughs> they're not gonna die here. Three million, three, this guy consistently gets 3 million in Super Battle Road with his insane defense. That's, I mean, this guy's really good. <laughs> this guy's so good. Additional 3 million. Just 3 million every turn. <laughs> it's like automatic. Um, yeah, we're... Uh, and he gets a crit too. Yeah, we're, we're good. We can have Bardock transform as well. I'm actually going to move him to the third slot just in case. Um, just in case he decides to be a cheapskate and like super in the first or second or third slot. So we'll do this. Um, we should be able to get Vegeta the three orbs he needs here, and then Bardock can get those blues. And I think that probably should wrap things up here. I, I, I don't see him surviving this. We could also get the seal here just to put the cherry on top, basically. Uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're, we're in no danger at all. Hopefully Vegeta wraps this up. That would be nice. 2.79. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy, crazy damage. Uh, Bardock should wrap things up here. Um... Honestly, this is a very smooth run. Um, I really did want to get that second transformation, but we're, we're lucky that we saw both of them transform in that first fight there, because it is pretty... I wouldn't say it's like super rare to get the transformation in Super Battle Row, but it is uncommon, I would say. Uh, just based on the conditions that they have. So, anyway, that was a pretty good run. Uh, didn't really use any super OPLRs, but... Um, regardless, we only used four items. I mean, four items is just four items. It's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not eight items, it's not zero items, but it's just, you know, it's average. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys all in the next one.